and Matt Tone, who has claimed back hundreds of pounds in bank charges. He wanted to vote. Matt, was that hard to do? Uh, it wasn't actually. I had some help from um, which um, to write a letter from their researchers. Um, I claimed back um, a certain amount from my bank and they actually doubled the amount as a show of good faith. A show of good faith, but they admit culpability, responsibility? No, in no way did they. See, that's the that's point. They gave you a sum of money, but they didn't give you back the money, did no, they? No, absolutely. So the, so the money they gave you was a sort of gift rather than a refund for charges? Absolutely. Martin, is that a common situation? Uh, yeah, I, I actually, just to say you said 150 per week, actually, it, on my website, since that we rewrote the article on bank charges, we've had 150 thousand downloads of template letters people doing this. This isn't 150 a week, this is 150,000 over two weeks. This has gone from a niche event to a mass consumer revolution and it shouldn't be called anything else. There are people doing this all over the country. We have had thousands of successes. Matt won 800 quid, 17 and a half grand is the biggest one. People are winning thousands right. every week. Well, answer this question from Karen. Yeah. I've had loads of money taken from me over the past years. I have no idea how to fight this and I haven't got the money to fight for them. Well, the only time you're ever going to have to pay it is if you actually take them to the small plane system, through the small plane system. About half the people win without doing that. Did you win without or win? I'll go on without doing that. Mm. Okay, so there we go. That's a classic example. This is the quick step plan. Obviously, go to the website, download the template letters, but quickly, step one, set up a bank account somewhere else. They may close your bank account down if you win. So don't try and do that later. Do that before you start. So step two, get the details of all your charges. Find out every charge you've had over the last six years. If you haven't got the statement of the data protection act, you have a right to get them off the bank. Send them with a thousand charge. Ten pounds. Uh, got you ten pounds to do that. But actually, a lot of them will do it without. They right. play games sometimes, sometimes they don't. Now we get on to the big stuff. You write them a letter, and the letter effectively says. I don't believe that my tax penalty charges have been in proportion to the amount it costs you. When I went to quid overdrawn, you sent me a letter and it cost 35 quid. It didn't really cost you 35 quid to send me that letter. If it didn't, that's illegal. I want my money back. You send them that, guess what they say? You're right. No, they say you can't have your money back. <laughs> <laughs> so you send them another letter that says, I want my money back. I'm quote the last letter. And if you don't give it to me, I'm going to take you to the small claims system. Mm -hmm. But if you settle early, I might do it without letting you pay the interest. Matt, as Martin says, in some cases, banks can actually say, thanks very much for your custom, here's yeah. the money, and goodbye. Yeah. Well, did you feel at any stage frightened about what your bank's response might be? Because I expect it might put some people off. To be honest, I've, the dealings I've had with my bank over the last kind of six years, of, they've been absolutely useless. I asked the bank manager for an explanation of these charges and she was unable to give me it. Mm. She just said, get in touch with my customer care department. So did you eventually change your bank? I did, yeah. I'm with another bank. I've got a cash only account and I haven't had one single charge. I've been in the black. Right. Uh, Martin, you see, Adrian makes a point. Charges are a bit high to act as a warning, not to exceed them before you use money you haven't got. Otherwise, people will exceed at leisure. People need to be responsible too. You can't always spend it. Absolutely. Personal responsibility is the most <coughs> important thing. But you know what? The banks are doing something that isn't lawful. Now, first way, the best way to avoid bank charges is don't happen in the first place. Defensive banking, set up your direct debit in the right time. But let, the, the argument people said it's in the terms and conditions. People knew about this. My answer to that is, if I walked up to you in the street and told you I was going to punch you, and then I punched you, the fact I told you I was going to do it doesn't make it legal. Well, it doesn't make bank charges legal either, they fact to tell us about it. And millions of people have been unlawfully taken money by these massive international companies <coughs> that don't need it. Credit card charges as well. Credit card charges as well, yes. It's slightly changed because the OFT has reduced those recently, but you can still get tax money back. Okay, so what does, does the bank say about this? We, of course, that uh, these charges are legal and not to be know about them. They tell us what the charges are in the terms and conditions of the account, and we sign up to that whenever we agree to open the bank account. That's not the issue. Do you know what the underlying issue for all this is? It's that when we put our money with the banks, we think it's our money, and we should be allowed to move it around as we wish for free. And the banks say that's actually ignoring the fact that we provide a service. So the banks would actually like to charge us to run a bank account. It's just normal opening uh, maintenance uh, fees for running bank accounts, but they don't do it because they don't think customers will wear it, so they make the money another way. That's why they give us bank charges and things like overdrafts, and that's partly why those charges are so high, because they use high bank charges to make up the profit that they would otherwise make from maintenance charges if bank accounts were run like they are on the continent or like they are in the United States. This
this all stems from all of us thinking that we should be ha we should have free banking and that we're entitled to it. Declan, thank you very much, and our thanks to Martin and Matt. Yeah, thanks very much for that. Now it's it's 27 minutes past eight. Coming up after eight thirty. Wow.